Hey there folks, Lane here with Windows10Update.com and today I want to talk to you about Windows 10 data collection. So it's a pretty well known fact that Microsoft does essentially pay for the operating system by collecting data which helps them to serve advertisements to you through Bing and, uh, and then also improve the operating system, gather other information about you. Now granted, whether this bothers you or not will depend on how you know on your own personal opinion um, but there are definitely a lot of people that are uncomfortable with these policies um, there are some manual things that you can do to the operating system to stop some of the data collection but not necessarily all of it at, the, at least at this point though Microsoft is uh, basically saying they are going to uh, enable people to entirely disable the data collection at some point, uh, hopefully in a future update here. So you can also download this software. It's called AntiBeacon. So you can get that at antibeacon.com. You'll be redirected to this page where you can go ahead and download the software. And the software is said to actually go ahead and stop data collection. Now this particular piece of software is getting a lot of attention right now. Uh, whether this software is entirely safe or whether or not it even works is difficult to say at this stage. Um, however, I would definitely urge you to do your own research before installing something like this. Uh, what it does though is it essentially tells you that it's going to go ahead and stop all of these different services. So we have a bunch of different services here, uh, apps using, advertising ID, etc. So some of these things you can actually turn off in various settings uh, options within applications or within the settings application. Um, so this just automates that for you to make it a little bit easier. And then optionally, you can also disable some other things. OneDrive service, for example. Now, if you're using the mail application, this particular one, you can't really use that because it's going to stop uh, that app from working properly. Uh, you can also disable the Cortana group policy. Um, so again, these are some of these things you can do manually within the operating system, um, but this makes it a lot easier, and you can of course come in here and easily turn these things off as well. It's not the prettiest software, but uh, granted, if, if it does actually do all these things that it's saying that it does, and again, I don't really have a way to verify that. Uh, overall, the consensus with this software, though, uh, around the web is that it is actually uh, you know doing these things that it's promising. And the application is free, of course. Um, then, in that case, this could definitely be helpful to those of you that are very, you know, concerned about your privacy and what Windows 10 is doing. So, definitely, maybe uh, worth a look if you are interested in that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.